Chapter 2 The Tunnels Angelus uh, oh. <clears throat> Angela, why are these experiments happening? What the hell are they trying to create? Asked Daniel as he felt Angela connect to his mind. Genetically enhanced soldiers with increased strength and intelligence. Says Angela. Well, they got the strength part right. Oh yeah, yeah, boast about it, bro. I bet you don't even lift. How much do you bench, bro? How much do you squat? What, what? Do you, uh, do you go on the Smith machine and put on tens or something? It's pathetic. But it's okay, everyone's gotta start somewhere, you know? Are you still with me, Angela? Yeah, yeah but they will be coming for me soon. Why do they want to kill you? I hold the secret to the destruction of this facility. Shh, tell me. I can help you. Not now, but soon. At least tell me who is behind all this. Is the program backed by a militant government? This is a privately owned facility. And who owns it? They are listening to our conversation right now. If I tell you, your path will not only be blocked by these creatures, but by the soldiers as well. I can handle the soldiers. Very well. The man who owns How do I know that? is Trevor Starna. No, nope, I didn't hear that. Starna Industry, a technology manufacturing company. His nameless island is a few hundred miles off the coast of Brazil. He has been pouring money into this facility for years. Once he perfects this formula for enhanced soldiers, he's going to sell it to the highest bidder. His soldiers are coming for you right now? Yes, I have sealed myself inside the hangar bay, but they are trying to break through as we speak. Shit, how close am I? You're going to be traveling to the secondary laboratory. From there you will make your way to the military facility. The hangar is on the opposite side of that facility. Understood. Alright, let's go do it. Hashtag swag going off the side. Off the beaten path to save my life. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go in here. Get my bio sample. Get attacked by these guys. Which they made me jump the first time around. They even made me jump this time. Except I didn't go, uh, I just sort of moved my shoulders. Like, shrug, you know? It, does, it doesn't make you scream the second time, but it's still... Yes, I, I did. I was like, ah, the first time I played it. And I remember this DLC pack back when I had the pirated version of that PSC. Ah, and then I bought it. And then I made some crappy games, which I never released. And then I made some crappy games, which I did release. Then I started working on Borden, which isn't really that great. But hey, I'm going to say it's a triple A game. Worth uh, just about the same as much as Halo, Call of Duty, and... Uh, Battlefield. In fact, it's better than Battlefield. Open your ass up. Alright, so. This is actually a pretty cool level. I think it's this level, I'm not sure. But, uh, this better make me go. No, you, you, you just go down. T1, alright, so here we go. That looks like, uh. That looks like a really big oven. I gotta say, man, if you're cooking that many, that many biscuits or you know pieces of bread or meat, you should own a very, very large company, preferably used for meat. You know what I mean when I say meat. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's right. I'm talking about like beef. Bio sample, and uh, to whomever finds this. I have locked myself in a utility room in an attempt to save myself from the chaos outside. The creatures that I helped create have overtaken the island. I have watched my co-workers and friends being bitten by the creatures. They would stiffen and appear to be dead. Then their skin would start to bubble. Then a horrific noise would come from inside their bodies. After several minutes, the writhing in pain they would become creatures themselves. There's no moral direction or passion for me to create these monsters. I was simply doing my job, which I was very well paid for. It sounds like a weak excuse, but it has made it easier to survive these last few days as everything went to hell. My co-workers enjoyed playing God, and now they are all dead. I hope that as you are reading this, the facility has not been cleared of 
oh, has been cleared of creatures and quarantined. If not, I suggest you get off this island immediately. There is only death here. Sincerely, Jeffrey Blaine, Genetic Research Supervisor. Mm-hmm. That's sexy. That is just... Mm, mm, yeah. Now, um, that's what you call don't play with the Legos of life right there. A.K.A. your DNA. It's always gonna end bad. Zombies, you know? Is it just me, or does this little stain here look like a person? It's stock FPSC media, but I, I, I see like a head, and arms, and then the legs. Anyway. Oh man, that, that, that tricky obstacle. Damn. Is that a light, or is that a... I don't know. Let's do it. Ah. Got a fatty over here. Hold up, hold up. I need to I need to reload so I can. I had to say that so I can insult him. Yes, I killed a fat man. Are you, you mad about it? Give me that bad sample. Little pig, little pig, let me in. That music, man, I'm, I'm rocking out right now. Just go down. No, come on. Don't get caught. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.